Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy the press? Yeah, that was one of the best press conferences I've been to. There wasn't real <laughs> too much animosity, but it was it was you know kind of schoolboy you know mouthing off at each other. It was making it was, duck noises. Yeah, it was great. Um, it was great. Uh, yeah, it was funny, but mm -hmm. clear to see that both guys are serious about this fight, and both guys are determined to win it. You've uh, you've done the face off between them, the BT Sport. I don't I don't know what what BT Sport call it, but you know you're sat in the middle. You've got one fight on one side, one fight on the other. That's already happened, mm. taken place today. What can you tell us about that? It was it was better than I expected. Mm. It's it started off really heated and um, started heated. Started heated. I hadn't even asked a question yet, and it kind of kicked off. Um, said hello, um, <laughs> and they get stuck into each other for a good five minutes. So. Um, I was kind of worried that obviously the both guys have been really respectful to each other in the build up. I was worried it was going to be hard to, to make something that's going to be interesting to, for people sure. to want to watch, but you'll want to watch this. It yeah. was uh, it was good. Well, yeah, no, they're, look, they're a couple of nice guys, but what, what you got was the first time that they'd actually come together since all of this messing about, you know, as, as Joe Joyce sees it, mm. it's finally happening. So you got all the build up of that frustration there. Tell us some of the things that were said. What can you tell us? Um, well, both guys have their own ideas as to why the fight is only just happening now. Um, I think there was a lot of kind of insults, not a lot of insults, but a bit of jabbing and that sort of stuff. Um, talking about, you know, Joe's obviously well known for his, his great chin. Um, Joe, I'm saying Joe, there's obviously two Joes. Two Joes. Joe Joyce. Yeah. Um, Joe Parker is you know he's confident that he can break him down and because he's that easy hit that he thinks he'll, he'll, he'll break him down he'll wilt at some point um joe joyce is confident that you know his juggernaut style will be enough to win on the night but it, it was great it was a good kind of half an hour of backwards and forwards both guys still have a lot of respect for each other both determined to win the fight um but i think i think people want to watch this it was it was very good i enjoyed it well i don't know how much of a opinion or prediction you can make on the fight given your role and i'm sure you'll be involved but can you tell us who you think will win oh I, I think it's i think that joyce is a favorite in the boogies um i think you maybe have to agree with that slightly slightly but it's a really hard fight to call i i don't know i really like both guys i'm really really fond of well both of them but but Parker, I think he's a fantastic guy. It's clear that he wants this fight because you know he joined, he teamed up with Sky. It looked like it was dead in the water. So obviously, because of him pushing for the fight, the fight's now happening. So you have to give him a lot of credit for that. Um, he believes he can win it. Definitely believes he can win it. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be a tight fight. I, I look. I think the bookies have Joe a slight favour. I can understand that. I'll leave it a little bit closer to the time before I make make a prediction okay well i'll be pushing you very close to the time as well um bit of a risk for joe joyce right he's wbo number one mm. he's 36 years old you'd think if he loses here it's a longer road back for him um and he's also in a position where he could sit on that ranking mm. and maybe just get a world title shot why do you think he's taking this sort of risk and, and do you is that something you're you sort of back you think oh well done you're taking a risk yeah of course thing, yeah. i think i think he thinks he can beat him mm. and that and that's great to see he's, he's very confident in, in himself and that he can win this fight he's confident that you know we, we've seen what joe joyce does he he, he walks through shots mm. um you know the question is is that going to catch up with you at some point in your career um will it catch up with him against joseph parker joe thinks it will um but yeah, it's, I think it's a, I think it's a good, a brave fight for both guys. Joe Joyce doesn't really need to take it because of his ranking position. Parker kind of has been at the top, and, and like Joe Joyce for us, you know, us, I suppose he's he's a bit avoided, isn't he? Who wants to fight that guy? Like the guy mm -hmm. that is super fit can yeah. fight for twenty rounds if he wanted. And the bone density the thing, the bone which density you've... thing, which we'll talk about later. Yeah. And um, yeah, his chin, his durability, um, his toughness. He's been an avoided fighter, so credit, credit to Joe Joyce. I keep, I keep saying to say <laughs> Joe, Joe's, 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 Joe's. Joe. Yeah, so credit to Joe Joyce yeah. for taking the fight in the position that he's at. Yeah. Credit for Joseph Parker for wanting to fight. Probably one of the most avoided men in the heavyweight division. Yeah, I, I agree. Both fighters deserve a lot of credit. Just, just finally, tell me about this, this chin of Joe Joyce because we've never seen him hurt. He seems mm. indestructible. You mentioned about the five times bone density. What on earth would you do if you're whacking people with your hardest flush shots, Carl, and they just keep walking forward? 
How would you react? Yeah, to that? look, I, I, I asked that question in the head to head. That it, it's got to be frustrating. It's mm. got to be. I know what it's like when, when you've, when you've bingoed someone, or so you think. You've hit them, and, and it feels nice on your hand, and it feels like it's a shot that should do damage, and there's no effect, and and it, this guy just keeps walking forward. We've seen it against Hammer against against Joe Joyce, and and I asked, I put that question to um, Joseph Parker, and. You know he's just confident that he'll break him down. You know he's there's going to be shots that bounce off his head for a while. He thinks and he'll get to him at some point. But I suppose we'll find out on the night. We will indeed. It will be September 24th. Thank you very much, Carl. Uh, you. September 24th, AO Arena, Manchester. It will be live on BT Sports Box Office. 